Look up in the right hand corner of the video and you can see the coyote approaching with his glowing eyes. This is Desert Wildlife Night Camp number two. Coyote and Roadrunner is what we got. Now the Tapetum lucidum is the iridescent reflective pigment layers at the back of the eyes of nocturnal animals, which makes the eyes look like they're glowing and shining when illuminated in the dark. Its purpose is to enable these animals to see better in the dark. It does this by processing the light two times instead of once. First, when initially stimulated by the object, the reflective layers magnify the light rays to enhance the vision. And then second, they reflect light back out of the eyes onto the object like a spotlight. This works best in the dark, of course. Shine a bright light on the animal and that's just too much for the Tapetum lucidum. Puts it in overload so the animal will either run away or just stand there in shock like a deer in the middle of the road about to be hit by an oncoming car. Here it might look like the camera is shining a big white spotlight on the coyote, but no, it is shining a beam of light invisible to us and the coyote because it is made by the infrared LEDs in the camera. The only light visible to us would be a tiny red light on the camera that comes on when it's activated by motion. Still, the coyote can see better than us in the dark because of the light enhancing properties of the Tapetum lucidum. Not all creatures that move around in the dark have been endowed with this marvelous gift. The rabbit's best defense is its side vision and ability to hide well. But if it were Bugs Bunny carrying a flashlight, that's a different story. But if it's not, he's probably due because of the coyote's built-in night vision goggles. Nature's night vision, if you will, which beats our military-grade night vision cams hands down. Okay, this is a daytime shot with the Bushnell remote cam. Does it come out as clear as the nighttime shots even though it is in color, unlike the infrared shots? I think the camera does better with stills, actually. Anyway, the Greater Roadrunner is a member of the Cuckoo family, believe it or not. And it's not purple, as the cartoon has led many to believe. And it's far more likely to be outwitting lizards, snakes, including rattlers, scorpions, beetles, and baby birds, not coyotes. Those are the poor critters that are the usual victims of this winged predator. Their preferred habitat is desert brushland, and they can be seen throughout the southwestern United States, especially in Arizona. I think the Roadrunner should be our national bird because its cheeks are red, white, and blue. This is some of the footage from my video, The Lonely Roadrunner. Please watch it if you haven't already. It's one of the few videos with my own music as the soundtrack. Okay now, what's this creature? Not the kind of wildlife we're looking for. Oh well, be blessed, be kind, and please stay tuned for Desert Wildlife Night Cam number three. Happy trails!